today we practice how to draw an involute of a circle an involute is a curve traced by the free end of a thread unwounded from any polygon let us take an example draw an involute of a circle of 40 mm diameter here in this example this is a circle and this profile is a profile of an involute this profile is a thread which is unwounded from this circle let us start from drawing the circle of diameter 40 mm so we take radius 20 mm and draw a circle divide the circle into 12 equal parts Now draw a tangent from point 12 on this line we will mark a distance of the circumference that is pi d here pi d will be 125.6 millimeter we measure here 125.6 millimeter Now we divide this line into 12 equal parts. For this we draw an inclined line at any angle mark 12 points at every 10 mm. Connect the last point with the end point of this line and then draw parallel lines from each point we get the line divided into 12 equal parts we name it as, as 1 dash 2 dash and so on Now draw tangent from all the points on the circumference. We start from point number 1. We can use another method to draw tangent. Line number 1 is perpendicular to the line connecting 4 and 10. Match the roller scale to the line connecting 4 and 10 and slide it till it reaches point number 1 so we get the same result similarly for point number 2 a tangent from point number 2 if you match the roller scale from the line connecting 5 and 11 and slide it till it reaches point number 2 and draw a tangent then for point number 3 match roller scale to the line connecting 6 and 12 and project it and slide it till it reaches point number 3 and draw a tangent then for point number 4 use line connecting 7 and 1 and draw a tangent then for 5 and so on
Now to start drawing the profile of an involute, we use the first distance from point number 12 till 1 dash. Keep the compass needle on point number 1 on circumference and draw an arc till the first tangent. Then measure the second distance from point number 12 till 2 dash. Then keep the compass needle on point number 2 on the circumference and cut an arc till the tangent 2. Then the third distance from the starting point till 3 dash. Keep the compass needle on point number 3 on the circumference and draw an arc. Measure the fourth distance from point number 12 till 4 dash. Keep the compass needle on point number 4 on circumference and draw an arc. Then use the fifth distance from point number 12 till 5 dash. Keep the compass needle on point number 5 on the circumference and cut an arc. Then measure from point number 12 till 6 dash. Keep the compass needle on point number 6 on circumference and draw a curve. Then the next distance from 12 till 7 dash and cut an arc keeping the compass needle on point number 7 on circumference the next distance from 12 till 8 dash compass needle on point number 8 and cut an arc the next distance from 12 till 9 dash keeping the compass needle on point number 9 cut an arc cut an arc then take next distance till point number 10 dash keep the compass needle on point number 10 on the circumference and cut an arc take next distance for point number 11 and cut the arc and finally the last distance 12th dash then we can name these points then giving measurements 